so it's been a couple days it's sunday right now so it's been a couple days since i got my second dose of, on my second round so i'll be labeling the video six week dose of chemo <laughs> Um, it's getting a little confusing with all these different like rounds and doses, but um, I haven't had any symptoms or side effects um, at all so far, which is really great because my second week of my first round was probably the worst week. I like felt really uneasy in my stomach and like nauseous at some points, but it's been really good so far. Um, the only thing I've noticed is that I've got lots and lots of like zits, and I'm pretty sure that's due to the chemo. I did look it up. And it said that it can cause like acne and stuff like that, mainly on like the head and face, stuff like that. So it's kind of like the only thing I'm dealing with. It's not terrible, but I mean, obviously not ideal, but that's the only update I have so far. And hopefully by the end of the week, it gets better. <laughs> Okay, so today is my third dose of my second round. Um, my week went by, it was really good. Not too much went on. I think like my second round has been a lot better than my first round so far because I haven't had any like stomach issues or anything like that. I don't even think I'm as tired as I was the first round either, which is also good. Um, but it's hot enough now that I don't have to wear my sweater. So I just wear my, my nice t-shirt and I'm wearing shorts today. And I got to wear my white head wrap today, which my head wrap came out pretty good. <laughs> pretty good today. Some days it's it's hard to get a good head wrap going. <laughs> um, but yeah, second week, done, good. Starting my third, so that's about it. Okay, so I wanted to make a video on how I do my head wraps. And now the first time I did one of my head wraps, I actually used a t-shirt. So this is one of Dave's old t-shirts. And I just cut the sleeves off of them and I cut like the seam of the sleeve, the sleeve off too. So what I do is I put it upside down and then I kind of like leave it open like that and I put it around my head. And then I'm gonna gather it all in the front there. And I'm gonna make sure to try and tuck what I can in. Now, if you're doing this with a shirt, you're gonna to have to be careful on like the seams that um, like might be showing while you're twisting. But this was like a really easy sort of solution when I didn't have head wraps yet. And I just wanna wrap it until it starts to like twist and then I'll twist it around like that. Make sure I'm still twisting the end. And then once I get to around to the top, I sort of like tuck it underneath into like the donut hole. And that's like, I mean, I could make it look a lot neater than this because like down here it sort of looks a little funny, but that's just sort of like the idea of the head wrap. And if you don't have head wraps right now, then you can do this simple like t-shirt method. So that's it. I found it a lot easier to do it with the t-shirt because it's shorter than when I actually got my real head wraps because my head wraps are like super long and they're also pretty wide. So I noticed that if I just do the head wrap like this over my head, they're almost a little too long coming in this way. So what I do is I'm gonna put it over my knee right now and I'm gonna fold it almost like a three quarters like of the way, I guess. So a little more than half. So we're gonna end up with something like that. And then I turn it over and then that part goes on my head so you don't see like the folded side on the outside. So I'm gonna make that look a little better. So I'll put so this part goes to my head, like that. And then I know like up here it might look a little funny, but so I'm gonna start, I sort of like 
put them on either side like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist these at the same time that you're twisting those together. So twist and then twist together. And that's what sort of like makes the nice um, like twisty look. And again, I'm not paying attention to like what I'm really doing here because <laughs> I'm doing it in the camera, not the mirror. So. So. Try to do this sideways. Maybe you'll actually be able to see it better. So twisting and then twisting together. And because these are so long, you're going to have a lot bigger of like a like a rosette on the top of your head. There. Okay, so that's all twisted nicely together. And now I have this piece at the top. I just sort of like tuck it in as good as I can there. Now twist the whole thing so it starts to twist up on my head. And the same idea is that like you're gonna come and tuck it underneath like some of your previous twists. I'm sort of like, see I'm poking it all the way underneath and putting it in there like that. And that's sort of like what's gonna make it hold there. So this one actually came out pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a couple tries to get like the twist nice because I notice that um, depending on where the tail of your twist ends up, it makes it a lot harder to like tuck it in. Um, so it's nice when the tail can end up over here and then you're able to tuck all the way at the top because obviously if your tail ends up down here and then you're tucking it under right by your forehead, it doesn't look as nice as um, when it ends up at the top here so this one turned out pretty good but um i think getting the twists right in the beginning like twisting the single ends and then twisting them together is sort of like what's tricky to make it look nice but yeah so those are the two ways that i do my head wraps um i just sort of wanted to put those in there for like a little filler because my last week hasn't been very um hasn't been much going on so we're gonna put these in there.